Hello and welcome to Universal Recaps. Today, I'll be summarizing the 2016 crime thriller and horror film titled, Don't Breathe. The movie begins with an elderly man dragging a young woman through an abandoned neighborhood by her hair. Meanwhile, a group of young people consisting of two men and a woman break into a rich house. They skillfully deactivate the alarm and, led by the most nervous member, and establish their rules, which include not taking cash and only stealing items valued under $10,000. They quickly complete complete their burglary and, before leaving, reactivate the alarm and shatter the front door window, setting on the alarm as they make their escape. Later, they are seen driving in their car, casually smoking and chatting. The nervous guy begins discussing the departure of one of their friends from town. However, his companions are not amazed, pointing out that everyone eventually leaves this place. They reveal their own plans to relocate to California after their next heist, with no intentions of returning back. The girl in the group urges the nervous guy, named Alex, to join them, but he declines, telling his inability to leave his father alone. They drop Alex off at his home, where he promptly heads to his father's study and returns the key stolen from the house they had just robbed. His father happens to work in the home security business. Meanwhile, the third member, nicknamed Money, attempts to sell the stolen items, but is disappointed with the low money returns. He engages in a brief argument with the buyer, who advises Money that if he wants more money, he should steal money direct. The buyer also provides a tip about a new potential target a house protected by Alex's father, located in an abandoned part of the city. This proposal raises doubts in the minds of the other two members, but Money explains the importance of robbing this particular house. Allegedly, the owner, a blind old man, received a big settlement of at least $300,000 after his daughter was clashed by a wealthy girl driving a car. The girl and their group is more agreed to the idea, while Alex remains anxious about the consequences for both themselves and his father's security company. Alex decides to distance himself from the plan and walks away. Later that day, Rocky, the girl, sends Alex a text message asking him to undertake the job on her behalf to help someone she cares about. It becomes clear that the message is about her younger sister as Rocky asks her if she wants to accompany her to California to escape their unhealthy family situation. While Alex researches the blind man's history, Rocky stays home with her little sister, her mother, and her mother's new boyfriend, who both seem to be unpleasant individuals. Rocky is determined to rescue her sister from their trouble family environment. Alex, Rocky, and Money visit the old man's house and the surrounding neighborhood. During their stakeout, Alex and Rocky are left alone in the car, where Rocky shares a childhood story with Alex. In response, Alex assures her that he will join them in California once they complete the job. Money returns to the car and confirms their knowledge about the house when a dog named Rottweiler suddenly jumps at Rocky's window. Money identifies the dog as a home pet to the blind man. They realize the situation and engage in a brief dispute about the unethical of robbing a blind old man. That evening, they return to the neighborhood, noticing that the lights in the old man's house are turned off. They take precautions by drugging the dog with meat for a clear path. When they attempt to enter the front door using the keys taken from Alex's father's security comp, they discover that the keys don't work. They search for an alternative entrance and find only a small window, which Rocky is the only one able to fit through. She enters the house and successfully deactivates the alarm using a remote provided by Alex. Alex. Inside the house, Rocky notices framed pictures of the veteran's dead daughter on the wall. Meanwhile, Alex and Money wait outside for Rocky to let them in. Inside the house, they commence their search, looking for the safe where the money is believed to be stored. Rocky thoroughly inspects a closet while Money proceeds to the next floor to faint the elderly man using chloroform to prevent him from waking up. Money finds the old man asleep in his room, with the sound of a video featuring his daughter as a child playing in the background. The blind man wakes up and turns off the TV, but Money manages to release the gas. Money then descends to rejoin Rock and then three of them come across a bolted door, suspecting that the money might be hidden behind. Money retrieves a gun, believing that the blind man is still asleep and fires at the bolt to force it open. However, this act frightens Alex who becomes increasingly concerned about the presence of a gun. Alex decides to leave, retrieves his shoes, and exits the house. Money and Rocky successfully open the door, but the blind man veteran suddenly appears, inquiring who is there. Both Money and Rocky fall silent, but the blind man hears Money and begins to follow his voice. He first attempts to deceive the elderly man and then tries to argue with Money fires a shot to scare the blind man, but it fails to do so. Meanwhile, 
Alex hears the gunshot outside. The old man turns the gun from Money's hands and fatally shoots X in the head. Unaware that Rocky is hiding in the closet, the old man continues to search for potential strangers. Rocky hides herself in the closet. Alex enters the house, nearly colliding with the old man but managing to evade him as he rushes around, securing doors and windows. Alex hides in the bathroom and communicates with Rocky via text message. She informs him of her hiding spot and he proceeds toward Before Alex arrives, the old man man enters the closet and removes a section of the drywall to reveal the safe. He enters the coat which is fully visible to Rock and checks to ensure that the money remains in place. Upon discovering that the money has not been taken, the veteran closes the safe and departs, still unaware of Rocky's presence inside the closet. Alex enters the closet and proposes calling the police, but Rocky disagrees. Instead, she opens the safe and takes the money, surprising Alex who believes there's a million dollars inside. They plan to exit through the bolted door, believing it will lead them to the basement in a hatch that leads to the yard. Before they can make their way through the door, the old man emerges from inside the house, dragging Money's lifeless body to another location. The old man continues with his task, creating an opportunity for Alex and Rocky to pass through the door unnoticed. At this point, the old man remains unaware of their presence until he discovers their abandoned shoes at the door. He checks the safe and realizes the money is gone. Meanwhile, Alex and Rocky explore the basement and make a shocking discovery. They find a girl bound with army cords and chains. Any movement she makes triggers a ring that alerts the old man about the activity in the basement. To their astonishment, they realize that the captive girl is the same rich person responsible for the car accident that claimed the life of the old man's daughter. Despite her faults, Rocky decides to help. They attempt to use the basement hatch, but the old man is waiting for them in front of it and opens fire. Tragically, he kills the girl responsible for his daughter's death. As Alex and Rocky flee, the old man cries about his loss, calling out to his baby while holding the girl's lifeless body. Implies that the old man pregnant her with his baby. He then pursues them through the dark basement after disabling the electricity, causing them to be in near darks. In the middle of their way, the old man almost catches Alex and attempts to strangle but Alex Alex manages to escape with Rocky once again. Outside of the basement, the Rottweiler, now fully awake, awaits them. The dog chases them on the second floor and corners them in a room with no windows, seemingly leaving them with no escape route. Simultaneously, the old man, armed with a gun, positions himself outside the room with his dog. Rocky and Alex search for an escape route and spot a vent on the wall. Alex instructs Rocky to enter it while he guards the door. As Rocky enters the vent, the old man and his dog break through the door, attacking Alex. He falls falls through a window onto a ceiling glass window one level below. Back in the room, the dog follows Rocky's scent through the vent, chasing her along the shaft. She leaps into a vertical shaft to fool the dog. The old man realizes Alex's location and shoots the window, sending him tumbling down to the first floor via the seal. Alex makes another attempt to run, but the old man catches up to him in the room where he stores his gardening tools and where Money's body is stabbed. The old man brutally beats Alex unconscious and then stabs him with large gardening scissors. Rocky regains consciousness in the shaft, suffering from injuries and pain. She resumes crawling through the vents and notices two openings, one leading further inside the house and the other toward the outside. As she attempts to break through the bars at the opening leading outside, the old man grabs her from the other side. Rocky wakes up in the basement, tightly bound in the same manner as the other girl had been. The old man is present and she pleads with him to release her, promising not to reveal anything about the girl. The old man explains that he didn't keep the girl in the basement as punishment for her action but rather as part of his pleasure idea. He believed that since she took his child away it was only fair for her to give him a child in return. He had been holding her captive because she was pregnant with his child. With his irrational logic he now holds Rocky responsible for the other girl's death and demands she be held accountable for it. Meanwhile, Alex regains consciousness and realizes that the old man hadn't stabbed him but it is rather Money's lifeless body. He cleverly tricks the dog into a room and locks it inside. He then unlocks the front door. Back in the basement, the old man is heating something and reveals his disturbing plan to Rock. He intends to inject his sperm into her, heating it for that purpose. Fortunately, Alex arrives at the basement just in time to prevent the old man from carrying
carrying out his horrific plan. Alex beats the old man and frees Rocky, who proceeds to confront and attack the old man. Alex advises Rocky against involving the police and suggests leaving the old man chained up in the basement. They collect the stolen money and make their way to the front door. However, when Alex opens the door, the old man, who had managed to break free, shoots Alex. It is now daylight outside. As Rocky starts to run, the old man releases his Rottweiler after her. After a long chase, Rocky manages to reach Money's car. She drops the bag with the money when the dog catches up to her. Moreover, upon entering the car, she realizes that she doesn't have the key. Rocky cleverly traps the dog inside the car, but as she steps out to retrieve the bag, the old man seizes her by the hair and drags her back to his house. When they arrive at his house, Rocky finds the remote for the alarm and activates it. The piercing sound disturbs the old man, allowing her to push him down into the base. Believing he is dead, Rocky seizes the money and flees just as the the police arrive at the house. Later, she is seen at an airport bar with her younger sister. As she listens to the news anchor discussing the incident, it is revealed that the old man survived the fall. However, the anchor does not mention Rocky's involvement in the robbery or the missing money. Rocky is now free to start a new life with her sister in California. Stay tuned for the next upcoming part Don't Breathe 2. Subscribe to Universal Recaps and turn on notifications for regular updates. Give a thumbs up if you like our content.